I see. I take it you're the new trainee, right? Intern. I thought so. Well, for all intents and purposes, I am your boss, or ship captain. It's nice to meet you. I must say, it's odd seeing someone so eager to get started. You do know what your job entails, right? Okay. Well, we do love the company, so why don't we go ahead and get started. How much training have you had? I see. Well, lucky for you, I always keep a service manual up by the front of the ship here. But uh, I'll go over it with you real quick. Kind of give you a brief rundown and we'll set off. We're headed to 41 Experimentation. It's one of the closest moons. Since I'm training you, I figured we'd keep things easy for your first mission. Okay? All right. Here's our service manual. Our whole ship is supplied by Halden Electronics. And this is kind of just the parts list here at the beginning. If we... Flip to the next page here. This page talks all about the company's patented eco-scanner. I'll show you that in a second. Just know that it's an essential tool for all employees on the ships. Your crewmates may have their own best interest in mind, but the scanner will always be on your side. Don't forget that. We may or less be a team, but whatever we collect on the moons, we sell back to the company for money. People aren't always looking out for each other, so just be prepared for anything. Now, you're going to hold down on the right button of the scanner to ping when you're walking towards an object of interest. If the scanner detects an object, it will return general information such as monetary value, the name and purpose, and the color of the info will indicate other special information, okay? And this is a lot to take in, but try and stay focused, maybe. You're going to see all of this information from the scanner in your headpiece there. Good. Alright. Okay, go ahead and give it a try. See? Exactly like that. Now, Green will indicate a place or object of interest. Yellow will indicate an object which can be returned to the company as valuable scrap. We are collecting all kinds of scrap. It can be metal, which is the typical one, bottles, anything you find that seems of value, okay? And your scanner will be able to tell you if it is. Lastly, red for biological matters such as wildlife. This can also be more or less test subjects or monsters that we come in contact with. You heard me right. I haven't seen too many, except for one, that... <sighs> Let's just hope we don't run into that one again, okay? I don't want to scare you, newbie. We can get into more of that later. Now. Use the scanner to find the location of the autopilot ship or other places of interest while you're outdoors. This is a good thing to remember in case you get lost, okay, intern? Okay. The signal can reach up to 50 meters outdoors. No. 
Most of the stuff on the ship can be controlled by our terminal, as you can see behind me, okay? I also have one right here for the captain, but this one's strictly for me, okay? It gives me the ability to override certain things. Now, as a contracted worker, you have been loaned one of the company's prestigious autopilot vehicles, which we need to take care of. Anything and everything you'll find, newbie, can be fined towards our crew. So again, while some people tend to try to work for themselves, it is in our best interest to work together. Understand? Okay. This is our home base. Additionally, we have access to the terminal, which is full of different uses. Now, we use the terminal to route ourselves to different moons. Perhaps the most important use of the terminal routing is the autopilot. It can fly us to any moon included in the autopilot GPS. However, to transport you to faraway moons, we ask you for some of your company credits in exchange. So, the faraway moons we need to pay to visit. Well, they typically are farther, so cost more in fuel, and also they can have more of a monetary value when we find certain items and scrap. So it is in our best interest, but we need to be careful when we head out that way. Now, the cost per moon is determined in exchange. The cost per moon is determined by our risk and cost of benefit analysis department. Tip. In general, safer and closer moons are cheap or even free. That's why we're starting here today. And the risk analysis team recommends sticking to these safer areas for the entire duration of your contract. Purchasing tools. The terminal gives you access to the company store. You can purchase items in bulk under 30 pounds. The survival kit is a recommended package of essentials for beginners, which I will get you purchased within a minute. Don't worry about it. I'd rather my crew stay alive, because again, I'm fine if you don't. And you can always get me back once you find something of higher value, okay? Items purchased will arrive in a transport vehicle on the surface of whatever moon you choose to land on. Do not miss the delivery. Understand? All right, that's very important. Yeah. On the terminal, you're going to see there's other areas or menus that you can access. One being the beastry. Pinging wildlife with the eco scanner sends the information straight to our research team. If there's already a file on record, we will add it to your terminal's beastery so we can look up information on different animals and wildlife that we find. Well, that way we can know if we see it again if it's a threat or so on and so forth. Yeah. There's also the store, like I mentioned, where you can purchase things in bulk or not. There's also the storage where we can store things and other to see a list of other types of commands that we can do, okay? All right. Now this is the last page in our service manual. While your lengthy contract period may be luxurious, it is not a vacation. You are expected to return materials to the company, and in return, we will reward you with company credits. So whatever we find on these moons, we take back to the company. Yep. We give it to them, and they give us company credits to you, so on and so forth. Never-ending cycle, if you will. We orbit the company, and the company has us also orbit moons. Oh. To sell scrap route, the ship to the company building located on 71 Gordian. When selling scrap to the company, follow procedure exactly. This is very important. I've seen things for people who do not listen to the rules, okay? So pay close attention to this and you have nothing to worry about, okay, newbie? All right. Do not loiter around the counter. Do prepare all your scrap to place on the counter in bulk. Ding the bell until the company answers the door and remain quiet. Please do not continue to ring the bell. Understand? Okay, good. 
The conversion rate of scrap to credits will fluctuate over the course of several days, so be sure to check with this information on the terminal, okay? We do have a certain quota to meet in a certain amount of days. So depending on that, that'll also factor into when we head over to the company building. If we're not, we're more or less fired, which I'm sure you don't want. Capiche? All right. Now general and miscellaneous tips for the job. Use the electric coil located on the right interior wall of the ship to charge your battery-powered items, such as your flashlight, okay? All right. In order to prevent risk of damage, the autopilot ship will not stay on a moon surface past midnight. That's very important to remember, Yubi. You do not want to be on these moons past midnight. You don't want to know the kind of things that happen at dark, okay? I've seen too many people go missing, and like I said, I'd rather keep my crew together. Okay? Okay. Please time your trips carefully with this in consideration. Usually you will not want to stay past the evening. It is useful to keep a crewmate at home, so in the ship. To provide intel, watch over the crew using the ship's advanced radar cams and access certain remote locked doors. Someone on the ship can switch through the different camera radars to make sure we're all doing okay, can open up coded doors, etc. So. I will be on the ship this time, and you'll be going out with the crew. Just listen to them, and you'll be okay. Understand? Okay. The terminal can broadcast special codes to access secure doors or other equipment remotely. Just type the code, for example, E9, and the door will open. Then I keep this over by me, so anytime you need to access it, just head up there. Now. As I mentioned, we're going to be heading over to 41 Experimentation. So I'm going to type that into the computer here. As you can see, newbie, on your terminal, when you go to enter into the computer for the first time, it's going to ask you what your favorite animal is and what your role is on the ship. In this case, you're going to type intern. Okay? All right, so... says the population for our moon is abandoned. Conditions today are arid. Okay, should be fine. And the fauna is dominated by a few specific species. But that's the only information we have for now. So we're gonna go out with our scanner and see if we can get us some more information for the future trips, okay? And again, all this information goes back to the research team, so it's important that we find as much as we can. Okay, good. So let's get started here. I'll go over some information and equipment with you. So, here is your scanner. As you can see, there is a button to press to ping it, right here. And you're gonna hook it up to your monitor and to your hazmat suit here. And it's gonna project the scans onto your eyes. As you can see, we've already set you up, but going forward, I'll have to show you how to hook it up yourself, okay? All right, anytime you see anything that can be scanned, just aim your scanner over at the door, the wall, the animal, the fauna, anything you see. And if it knows it, it'll send it back to our research team to analysis, okay? All right. Be careful of hazards such as quicksands, environmental hazards, toxic hazards, like nuclear waste. Be careful of you know, certain wildlife, any monsters or experimentations you may encounter. I've seen traps, I've seen turrets, I've seen it all, maybe. I've been around for a while and I'm still here, so best to listen, okay? All right, as long as you're on your guard and you're using your scanner continuously, you should be okay. Okay. Now, if you go over to the terminal there and you type in store and you look at the equipment, 
There's a few different things I'll go over with you here. So, we have walkie talkies. This is important. I always try to buy at least two. I'll give you one today since you're new. There you go. I have mine right here. This way I can communicate with you. So if you're using your scanner and I see anything approach you when I'm on the ship, I'll let you know. Like so. Maybe, can you hear me? Exactly. Easy peasy, right? There's also flashlights. Sometimes they come in fun colors like green, but this one happens to just be black. There's also stuff like shovels, lock picks, stronger flashlights, things like this. This one's mine, but I'll try to get you one today, okay? Okay. There's stuff like boombox, there's grenades, there's zap guns, jetpacks, and a lot more. Pretty much anything you could think of or that you would want in your you could probably order it, okay? Buy it. In order to do so, you have to make sure you have company credits. You can only get that for finding things like scrap. Like I said, scrap metal comes in all sizes, different things. I found things as big as like 41 pounds and things as small as that. Everything has monetary value, just scan it and decide if it's best to take back. You know how much you can carry, I don't, so based off of that, scan it and see if it's worth it to bring back, okay? Alright, now you've gotten your flashlights, your scanner, your walkie-talkie. I do have extra gas masks on the ship if you need them that aren't like the one that you're wearing now. So for some reason you need a different one. They're in the red locker over there, okay? There are ship upgrades too, like a louder horn and stuff, but we'd have to agree as a team to spend the money on that. And should be it there. Okay. Let's go ahead and order you some equipment, shall we? Let's see here. We'll get you the survival kit. Don't worry about it in time, like I said. You can get me back later. Right now, I'm just not looking to be fine. Ordered. Now that should take a second to get to us. You're going to hear the loud song in a minute. That'll mean it's right out by our ship. And we'll have to rush over to get to it. Remember, we don't want to miss it. Before we go, though, let me take a quick look at you and make sure that your equipment is secured properly. Let's start for me. Everything is on correctly. Great. Looks like your headpiece. On well, secured it pretty good. Hmm. One thing to remember, Navy, um, 
If your inside glass, like the eyes on your mask, are getting fogged up, a little bit of saliva before you put it on. Take your finger and rub it. I was taught that a long time ago. It can keep it from fogging up, okay? Alright. The outside looks a little dirty. I'll get that cleaned up for you here in a second. And your suit seems to be just maybe a little too big here. I could get you a smaller suit. Alright, hold on a minute right here, okay? I'm just gonna clean off your eyes so you can see a bit better, okay? I'll just get those all cleaned up on here. Is that better? Okay. Lastly here, I think your suit may be a little big. I just want to check some quick measurements. If I'm right, I'm going to have you switch into the, yeah, the suit hanging right there. And that way it fits you a little bit more snug. Just to make sure you can move around better, okay? You really want to know, like I said, maybe one I've seen so far. Well, there was a hum humanoidy mannequin type monster and it had a coil for a neck and anytime we looked away it would move but if you looked right at it he would stand completely still just like a mannequin. Obviously we got away but just barely. They can't leave the buildings it seems. So as long as you stay close together and you don't get greedy and you're alert, you should be okay. And keep your batteries charged. I know. You're gonna be okay, newbie. I'll be monitoring you at all times. Yeah, I'm just And just listen to the people you're with, okay? Alright. Alright. Hand your legs real quick and make sure. As soon as we're done, just go ahead and switch into the other suit, and then I can check just to make sure you're secure one more time, okay? Alright. Deep breaths, ready? It's gonna be okay, just look for scrap. And if you forget any of the commands for the terminal, all you have to do is type help. It'll give you a list of them, okay? Alright. Oh. That's your equipment. Go ahead and get changed while we'll grab it. We only have so much time, so let's hurry up. I have some spare gloves for you right here. Alright, let's get going. See you guys.
Rain 7.